Hi, manual data entry takes up a lot of your business time and often leads to data redundancy. Don't you agree? Out of the various automation methods, NFC tags are widely utilized across organizations. NFC or Near Field Communication is a wireless communication technology used to transfer data at a short range proximity. All you need to do is bring the NFC enabled devices such as smartphones, tablets, NFC tags or stickers closer or tap them together and the desired data interaction takes place in no time. You can use this technology to enter data into your Zoho Creative Forms as well. Care to know how? That's what this video is all about. Let's take up a real-time use case and see how it works. Consider an organization where employees can tap their NFC-enabled ID cards against feedback-collecting devices and convey their concerns to the maintenance team. All we need is a feedback form and an NFC-enabled tag. Before we begin, ensure that Data is entered in the NFC tag as per the NFC data exchange format. Your device must contain NFC hardware. You can check this availability by searching for NFC in your device settings. In this video, we are using an Android device. We have already written an NFC tag with the email and ID details of an employee. You can refer online to find tools that help you read or write tags. A reference link is attached in the description below. Now that the tag is ready, we can go ahead with the rest of the procedure. First, let's create a feedback form in the Employee Management app. Go to the editor and click the Add icon. Choose Form and click from scratch. Give a name and proceed to create. NFC is only supported in the following field types. Let's create a basic form with minimal fields for ease of understanding. Drag and drop an email field and number field for employee email and employee ID respectively. Then, add a multi-line field for the employees to give feedback. The form is now ready. Next, let's have a button on the page where employees can easily navigate to the form. For that, once again click the add icon but this time choose page. Click blank and give a name. Choose a button layout of your choice from the list of elements on the left side. Let's label it as Submit Feedback. At the click of this button, we need the employees to be redirected to the form we created. Go to the Action tab and click Open Form. Choose the form we created. Next is where the significant step comes in. In order to capture data from the tag, we need to specify the query parameter. By specifying the query parameter for the Open Form action, it auto-populates values for the field specified in the parameter string when the form loads. Here, we have two different data points, namely employee email and employee ID. In such cases, we need to map each record written in the tag with the respective fields in the form for precise data transmission. To do that, type zc underscore nfc tag underscore employee email equals zero and ZC underscore NFC tag underscore employee ID equals 1. Employee email and employee ID are the fielding names and the digits 0 and 1 are the NFC data exchange format records in the tag. These digits represent the order in which each record or data point was written in the NFC tag. Ensure that this record number in the tag and the fielding names are mapped correctly. If you have more data points, equate the specific fielding names with the respective order number as displayed here. Choose where you want to open the form. This is just one way of doing it. You can also use the open URL deluge task with the appropriate query params or you can also add an HTML snippet to a page and embed the required form using div container. Now click done and we are good to go. Open the application on the NFC-enabled mobile or tablet. Click the Submit Feedback button. Tap the NFC tag and as you can see, the employee email and ID are auto-populated on the form. To make it error-free, you can also disable these fields. Follow the procedure and make efficient automation in Zoho Creator using NFC tags. That's all for this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about Zoho Creator and press the bell icon to get notified whenever a new video is released. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.